All right, let me see what we have inside your fridge here. Mm-hmm. Okay, time for another Raid the Fridge special. And you know these specials is literally me going into my refrigerator and using whatever ingredients are fine to come up with a dish. So today I have some, a bygone, one bygone or eggplant that I had in the fridge. I have banana peppers. Well, I'm using one banana pepper because while these are quite fruity, they're also quite spicy. And let's get these in the market by Ras. Um, have a carrot here i'm going to use this as well and then the usual suspects you know the onion ginger and of course some garlic so i'll be using these ingredients to come up with something as well as some other stuff in my pantry spices and that kind of thing and put something together so let me jump into this one time so yeah these are um, raid the fridge specials or raid the fridge videos that i like to do uh, is literally me trying to wash boy this knife dull all right i need to sharpen this life knife yeah it's literally me just trying to stress on the importance of um having veggies um in your fridge or in your uh, kitchen once you have veggies on deck you could always you know come up with something uh, delicious and nutritious as a meal so you know having a little bygan a little sweet pepper um, you know stuff like that pumpkin always good to have in the kitchen because you could always you know do something with it now. so I have this bygan here I'll cut into bite-sized pieces and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is make a little veggie rice using the eggplant, the carrot, pepper, onion, garlic, ginger. Should be good. I never make a eggplant rice or a bygone rice before, but it should be delicious. And of course, this is not um, like a recipe recipe per se although I guess they could say that are developing a recipe but this really is not about the recipe it's more about just giving you ideas of how you can utilize the ingredients um, that you would find in your kitchen in creative ways and the reason I'm cutting this into like small cubes is because I wanted to cook quickly in the dish so the smaller that you cut it is the quicker that it will cook less cooking time and as i said before these banana peppers quite spicy although they you know very fruity in flavor um, they tend to be quite spicy so if you can handle the heat um, you want to take all the seeds out of this, but I'm using the seeds and membrane and everything because, you know, spice is life. I'm using one onion here, but feel free to use as much as you like. But I think for the dish that I'm going for here, one should be sufficient. And in addition to these ingredients being very versatile and, you know, capable of providing it with some delicious meals, it's also important to, you know, consume a certain amount of veggies. Um, you know, you really want to try and eat healthy. You are what you eat. This is a universal truth. And as I always say, food is medicine. Food is not just to fill your belly. 
but the nourishing aspects of food is, you know, very important. It doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter if you're young or old. Uh, eating right, eating healthy is paramount. It's the best thing you could do for yourself. Um, and eating healthy, you know, doesn't have to mean you're buying expensive ingredients and all these um, trendy superfoods and all this kind of thing. I mean, we have, you know, staples here um, to our cuisine, you know. As I say, things like baigan, um, pumpkin, uh, you know, all these different things, pimentos, garlic, onion, the things that we are accustomed cooking with, saif, shadow benny, uh, spices, jeera, uh, turmeric, ginger, all these things, clove, gum, you know, cinnamon, nutmeg, all these different ingredients have their different health benefits. So, you know, go in the market, go in the supermarket, purchase these ingredients, keep them handy so that when you're feeling to whip up something um, or you're feeling to eat something rather than go out and buy, you know, food that might be questionable, you know exactly where it is you're putting into your body, you know, you know where the ingredients come from, you know, how much salt you're adding, how much of this, how much of that. Yeah, that's an important thing. And I was going to uh, dice up this carrot and add it to the dish, but I think what I'll do is just grate it and make a little slaw to go at the side. Making a slaw is a good way to get some raw veg into this dish, into this meal. And as you know, eating raw veggies is a very uh, big part of a healthy diet. So doing this uh, slaw, this cool slaw, is a real good way to incorporate you know raw veg into this meal all right so i want to start things off by toasting some coriander seeds and as soon as it starts to pop and goes fragrant then it's ready we don't want it to burn at all so you want to keep an eye on this about 30 to 45 seconds is all you need so it starts to pop so i'm going to add my oil add in the onions And you always want to let your onions saute a little bit before you add your ginger and your garlic because onions take a little longer to cook than garlic and ginger and you don't want your garlic to burn because that burns garlic flavor could mess up your entire dish so always saute your onions for about uh, 30 seconds 45 seconds to a minute depending on if you're just going for a saute or if you're going for a little more caramelization, it all depends on, you know, what you're going for with the onions. But add them first or add them the same time with your garlic because the garlic will burn. All right, so now I add in my garlic and my ginger, add in the banana pepper. Seasoning with a little salt, a little black pepper. And I'm gonna go in one time with the eggplant or the bygan. Or melangen or aubergine. Whichever name you call it by. Give that a toss. And now we're gonna cover this and allow the bygan to cook before I add my rice. So the pot has been going for about four minutes. And now I wanna add two heaping tablespoons of tomato paste. I think that'll add some rich tomato flavor to this dish. Give that a toss. And now I'm gonna add my rice. And I wash the rice to remove some of the starch from the rice because I'm going for a nice kind of grainy uh, rice dish. I don't want it too, you know, mushy and starchy. Add in a bit of vetsin. If you don't like vetsin, if you have something against MSG, leave it out, but I have nothing against MSG, so put in some in. And for a touch of color, I just add in just a little turmeric. Just a little bit. 
not too much. It's a touch. Give that a mix. All right, so now we're going to cover this and allow it to cook for about three to four minutes before I add any additional liquid. Now letting it cook like this at this point without adding additional liquid allows for the steam to kind of penetrate the rice and that way you get a nice flavorful rice. It's not just flavor on the outside of the rice, but in each grain, you get all the flavors of the aromatics and everything kind of penetrating the rice and making the whole dish flavorful. So, you know, cover this and allow it to cook and allow it to steam for about three to four minutes before we add any additional liquid. Okay. So now, I'm gonna add the water. All right, so now we're gonna cover this. Make sure our heat is low and allow this to cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so let's make our slaw real quick. Add any carrots to a bowl. One minced garlic, pinch of salt, pinch of black pepper, touch of mayo, I would say about one tablespoon, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Give this a mix. Nice. Now we have a nice little carrot slaw to go with our eggplant or baigan rice. All right, so our rice has been cooking for the last 12 minutes. Now switched it off and allowed it to continue steaming. Final stage or the final step. Just want to add some fresh shadow benny. And as you can see, we have a nice grainy rice. All right, the only thing left to do now is to go in for our taste. So let's go in with our one spoon. Just add in a little bit of slaw to the side. And boom, there we go. As easy as that, you know. We done. Bygone rice with our carrot slaw. But I'm going for a taste one time. Mm-hmm. Real nice. Real, real nice. You're getting that real nice warmth from the coriander and then the spiciness of the banana pepper, fruitiness as well. And then of course, you know, the onion, the garlic, the ginger doing the most inside of there. Real nice, a little spicy kick to it, but real flavorful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Having it with a little bit of the slaw. Mm -hmm. And the freshness of the slaw kind of taming some of the spiciness of the rice. Perfect, perfect pairing. Yeah, man. So you see how easy it was to put this together, just using a few ingredients that I find in my fridge. So again, it's not really about the recipe per se, but just knowing that you could use the ingredients that you have, use the vegetables that you have, use the spices, and you know, just find creative ways of coming up with dishes. It's all about, you know, the technique, it's all about the approach, not necessarily about the recipe itself. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So I switched out the background music and the intro music for this episode because I wanted to feature the work of my brethren, Scott Homer. Scott is a talented musician who I collaborated with in the past. I used to produce music, believe it or not. Uh, for those who know me would know that I used to produce music. I still dabble you know, ever so often, but not as much as before. But yeah, I wanted to feature Scott's work in this episode. So the music that you're hearing right now and the music that was in the intro is his original work. He posts new clips of his original work every week on his Instagram account. So check him out at Secretive Scott on Instagram. I'll post a link to his profile in the video description. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this recipe, please give the video a thumbs up, give it a share. If you try the recipe or you do something, you know, creative with Baigan and that kind of thing, hit me up on social media. Let me see what you're doing. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later.